All right, let's practice multiplying two digit numbers by two digit numbers, okay? Now, I see 39 times 14 equals 156 plus some number with a nine in the tens place, which gives us a total of 546. Okay, I'm going to set this up a little bit differently because that's overwhelming to me. Okay, that's a lot of information. So I have 39, erase that. I have 39 times 14, okay? Now I know that my first line, if I take the four and I multiply it by nine and by three, I get 156, okay? So I have that part done, all right? Next, I need to find that next line. So I'm done with the four. I'm going to put a zero here because I'm done with that ones place. And now I'm going to multiply. One times nine is nine. That's where our nine comes from. And one times three is three. So that means my missing digits are three and zero. And if you don't believe it, we can double check to make sure our sum from our partial products is 546. Six, four, five. It does work. So three and zero for 390. Okay, next one, we have 27 times 19. Thank goodness for my scratch pad, okay? 27 times 19. All right, we're missing my first partial product completely, okay? So seven times nine, because I'm in my ones place, is 63. Put down the three, I carry the six. Nine times two is 18. 18 plus six more is what? It's 24, okay? Then we said the next partial product is 270, okay? Now to check it, to make sure that our partial product here is correct, let's add it up and we should get 513. Three, four plus seven is 11, five. Good job. So our missing partial product is 243. All right, next one. We have 19 times 18 equals 152 plus 90. Well, that's nice. We have our partial products already given to us. So all we need to do is add up our partial products. So let's do it, okay? Here we go. Two plus zero is two. Five plus nine is 14. Carry the one. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 1 more is 3. So my answer, my product of 19 times 18 is 342. All right, next one. We have 30 times 46 equals 180 plus something equals 1,380. Okay, so we have 30 times 46. All right, we know our first partial product is 180. All right, next, since we're done with that ones place, we have to put a zero here, okay? Now I multiply. Four times zero is zero, and four times three is 12. So this should be 1,200. So to check, all right, I'm going to add these two, and I should get 1,380. Zero, eight, three, one. We have a match, so that means 1,200 is correct. All right, next one. 17 times 18. We need to find out the two missing digits here in our first partial product. So we have 17 times 18. All right, we're not worried about that tens place. All right, so we do eight times seven, which is 56. And we have a six here, carry the five. And then we do eight times one, which is eight, and add on the five. So eight plus five is what? 
13. So we have 136. If we add the other partial product to it, we should get 306 as our total. So 136 is our first partial product that we were missing. All right, 19 times 25 equals, what's our first partial product? So we do 19 times 25, okay. Now we're not worried about the tens place, okay? We're worried about the ones place because we already have the tens place done. So nine times five is 45, put down the five, carry the four. Five times one is five plus four more is nine. So our partial product here is 95. All right, next one. We have 10 times 48. And we have our partial products of 80 and 400 already figured out for us. So all we need to do is add those partial products together. Is it okay if I flip it and I do it like this? 400 plus 80, is that okay? Yes, commutative property. You can flip them and you're still going to get the same answer. So what is my answer? What's my total? 480, good job. Next one, we have 41 times 25 equals 205 plus 820. They gave us our partial products. What do we need to do? We need to add them up. So we have 205 and 820. All right, let's add it up. And that should give us our final product. Five plus zero is five. Zero plus two is? two and two plus eight equals 10. So 1,025 is our final answer. All right, next one. 44 times 50 equals zero plus what? We need to find that second partial product. So we have 44 times 50, okay. You know, our first partial product is zero because in the ones place, zero times four and zero times four are both zero. So we're done with that ones place. So we put a zero here to hold it. All right, let's do it. Five times four is 20. Put down the zero, carry the two. Five times four again is 20, plus two more is 22. So our second partial product that we can check by adding them is 2,200. Let's try one more. We have 36 times 50 equals zero plus 1,800 equals. Okay, so nice, they gave us our partial products. So all we need to do is add it together. And what's zero plus 1,800? It's 1,800. Great job with these multiplication problems. See you next time.